Hey everyone, it's John here. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how we can convert Excel data to a JSON object. So this is something that would have been very hard to do previously, but it's now gonna be very easy with Python in Excel. Let's take a look. So here's the data that we're gonna convert into a JSON object. And the first thing that we're going to do is add this to a Python data frame. So we're gonna type out py, our Python function, and press tab. And now we're in Python mode. And so we're gonna create a data frame named df. And we're gonna set that equal to our range here. And if we just click and drag to select, then Excel is going to add this code for us. So it uses this Excel function to get the data from that range. And you can see that we've got headers equals true as our first row here has column headers in it. And now to run this, we have to press control enter and there's our data frame. And we can click on that and we get to see a preview of that. And as you expect, that's just our data set here. And we can spill this into the grid as Excel values as well. And there we go, we just have our original data. Let's turn that back into Python object. And now we're gonna use that data frame and convert it into a JSON object. So again, we're gonna use our Python function equals py and press tab and we're in Python mode now. So here I'm just gonna create something named JSON data. And we're going to take our data frame that we just created. And we're gonna use the to JSON method on that. And the main argument in to JSON is gonna be this orient. And it's gonna allow us to select different styles of JSON objects to produce. And the most common one is probably going to be this records option. Let's try that. And again, control enter to commit that. And you can see we've got our JSON object or our data converted into a JSON object. Now, if you wanna see what other arguments this to JSON method has, then you can check out the documentation. So here's a link to that. And it's gonna show you all of the possible arguments in the to JSON method. And then down here, you'll be able to see what all of those are for. So another one that might be quite useful right now, this is all bunched together, but we have one that allows us to format this So indent, and let's try indent of four. So this is gonna allow us to indent each record with four spaces. So let's press control enter, and now we've got a formatted JSON object. And we can change this maybe 10 instead, control enter. And now we've got a larger indent. And let's check out a few of these other options here. Let's just change this back to four. So let's look at the split option, control enter. And you can see that what it's doing is splitting out the data into its column headings, the index number of the records, and then the actual records themselves after. Let's try index, control enter. And you can see that each record is shown and we have an index number for that record. Let's check out columns. And so here we've got our data separated by each column. So here's our category column, and then all the records there with their index number and our product column and our price column. 
let's check out values, control enter, and here we don't have any information about what field it is, so we just have the values of each record. And lastly, we've got the, this table option. Let's check that out, control enter. And so this one is going to include metadata about our table. So here we've got what the fields are and primary keys and let's just extend that a little bit. And then finally down here is where our data starts. So the normal one or the most common one is gonna be this records option. Let's go back to that, control enter. And there is our table converted to a JSON object. So that's how you can convert any table data in Excel, whether it's in a table or just a regular range into a JSON object with Python in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.